And what's up everybody, my name is Nickerson. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Today we're gonna watch and review the new Perfect Dark trailer. And I have to say I'm super hyped about this because the original Perfect Dark is one of the best shooters of all time. And you know what? It's pretty damn underrated. And I'd say it's underrated. By that I mean it's more obscure and like not as many people have played it. Some haven't even heard of it. But you know what? It's a better golden eye. Oh, I went there. Go back and play them both. I promise you it's better. We'll go into some more details like that after you watch the new trailer. So let's check it out. I am so hyped. Oh yeah, baby. So I, I know it's just a teaser, so it's not gonna show us like any kind of gameplay or anything like that. I remember when everything changed. All right, all right. The floods, the storms, the fires. Ooh, that's a lot of uh. People died on natural in the disasters. The corporations gave us solutions. Those damn corpos. A better world. Interesting. Okay. And we welcome them into our lives. I saw a little facial recognition. But the laws of nature. Looks like. Futuristic architecture mixed with nature. We need to know what they're hiding. Maybe a possible post-apocalyptic vibe? Possible? Or like getting there? Okay, we're going into a building. Some of it's on fire. Sentinel guns. Oh, sentinel guns! Haha. <laughs> okay, it looks like a... I can't tell if the plants are taking over or if they were... You know, being, you know, raised in there. It's a lab. I don't know. Oh, Data Dine! Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Did you find the answers you were looking for, Agent Dark? Oh, oh, oh yeah. This is just the beginning. All right. All right. All right. Gulp. Oh yeah, let's stop it there before YouTube forces us into another video. Okay, let's talk about it. What did we see? Well, not much. Okay, you zoom through the city, saw a little bit of facial recognition. That might be some foreshadowing of some sort of technology you can use in the game. I'm not sure. It's Agent Dark, something I did notice though. It looks like she's been working on her, uh, her American because it didn't seem like she had an English accent and she absolutely does in the first one. So not a game changer, but you know, a little, a little, you know, deserves a little attention to detail, right? So, I mean, again, that's not a big deal, but so as you see, it's for Xbox, which is gonna be PC as well, as you guys know. Microsoft bought Rare, which is a power move. And I've always said for a long time that the perfect dark franchise is like a sleeping dragon. If they woke up this futuristic first person shooter, and they utilized the tools of the first one and the creativity and how unique it played and the creative story and the, the whole aesthetic of the first one. They could kill it nowadays. 2021, Perfect Dark. I mean, that game would slay. It would absolutely slay. Yes, queen. If they brought back how creative the weapons were, you know, the multiplayer. Basically, I'm going to give it this. I would love for it to have an amazing campaign and an amazing multiplayer. But I think what it would have to be is Rare would have to guarantee that the multiplayer be absolutely fire. And if for some chance one of the developers is watching this, listen to me, okay? I have a group on Facebook perfect dark online and we get together and play all the time we're keeping this community alive as much as we can so listen up you gotta do it like the first one you don't have to copy it you don't have to not change anything but you gotta do it proper don't make it something it's not for the love of god no one will play it if you make it like the original with all the creative weapons alien weapons and the secondary fire you get hold the briefcase think about how cool those weapons are all the secondary fires like the laptop gun that gun is already cool you pick up a laptop it transforms into a submachine gun already cool right and then the secondary fire is the turret the sentinel gun you can throw it up in the corner when someone's passing and then it's an auto gun for every enemy. That's cool. 
you know, on certain levels, it was a little cheap, but it's just cool. You know, when you shoot the rockets and the self-guided rocket, me and my friends had so much fun and still do. We still get online. I'd say like maybe once a week, once every two weeks, I try to do it more, but you know, everybody's schedules are conflicting, you know, now that we're old geezers, basically. You guys gotta, you gotta keep that creative passion. We have to feel that in the game or it will not succeed, I promise you. The original is such a classic game. I even did a playthrough on it. The audio is a little bad. It was like one of the first things I did on this channel, but I go through it and I go, why I loved it. The campaign is awesome and the multiplayer is awesome. If you guys could get both of those together, I think you could have one of the biggest games to come out. You know, there's not a lot of games pushing it. Every game's kind of doing the, they go on the wave. You know, they did the Slayer, deathmatch kind of thing for a while now everybody's doing the uh, battle royale don't do that do your own thing do perfect dark that's super important it will be successful it's like that movie i'll feel the dreams it's like if you build it they will come and you know what it's true you just got to do the right thing and it will sell so make the game good which i really can't judge by the trailer it's a teaser doesn't show enough which is fine that's what a teaser is it's to get you hype the anticipation high real excited for the next reveal trailer which will be super exciting i'm sure i think that's about it that's all i really want to go over i just want to make sure you guys have a really good creative multiplayer and campaign but if you were going to focus on one of the two you know do both have both good quality bring back elvis maybe that'd be cool but you gotta have a solid multiplayer and make it like the original don't have to copy make it like the original multiplayer that shit is still fun if you gave an unbiased crowd a bunch of shooters, I guarantee you Perfect Doc would be in the top 10, maybe even the top five. It's so fun. It's so unique. It took what GoldenEye was doing and it just made it better. How'd you do that? How the fuck did you do that? GoldenEye was awesome. No shade, no hate on GoldenEye. It's just Perfect Doc was just a better made game. So yeah, that was a cool cool teaser trailer didn't show much i'll get back to you guys when there's some more on perfect dark this is a hardcore series to me you know super important super fun it's an original game and i i hope they keep it that way i hope when we turn this game on it has that perfect dark feeling that's important you know not to be like anything else just to be perfect dark hopefully we'll get that i'll check in with you guys again when there's another trailer maybe there's a gameplay trailer next who knows all i know is xbox has it a very exciting year coming up and i'm very much looking forward to it and when i heard about this i was like oh my god perfect dark finally i knew they had rare i knew it was always in the cards the perfect dark was just waiting in the bushes and maybe now is the time to strike who knows hopefully it'll be good i think it will be we'll see when there's more gameplay and more trailers out about it but yeah what did you guys think are you guys perfect dark fans are you guys golden eye fans leave it in the comments if you have anything to say about it or if you know something i don't know please tell me I i'm open i, I want to know so let me know in the comments what you guys think i just want to thank you guys for watching i'll keep you posted on the next update for perfect dark and i'll see you guys on the next one thanks again